All right, we're hearing it. Keep an eye on the boost gauge there. It's the factory boost gauge, but it kind of gives us an idea if something's way wrong. It doesn't, doesn't sound or feel wrong. Sounds good. Who's louder on the 24, actually? Sounds great. Sounds cool. It brings me back to being a kid in my uh, in my Subaru. So. <laughs> Hey guys, Matt here with Built Right. Today we are back for episode three of our 2024 Ford Raptor build. Um, while we patiently wait for Cobb to have a tuning solution for the 24, we are going to continue with some hard parts, do some powertrain upgrades. Today we're going to install a Cobb front mount intercooler, Cobb carbon fiber intake, as well as the upgraded scoop, and of course a Turbo Smart vent atmosphere blow off valve. So I'm going to jump into that. I'll show you some of the parts, and then we'll start with the intake. So here we've got the Cobb Redline scoop upgrade. Um, the factory scoop has a tendency to collapse here in the middle. Um, so this is an upgrade that helps prevent that. Uh, next, we've got the Cobb intake system. The Cobb intake system, this is, happens to be the Redline system, which is carbon fiber as well, which looks awesome and is super, super light. Um, reuses the bottom of the factory air box, but upgrades the two tubes and the top of the air box here. And then we've also got the um, carbon filters here, which is which is the reason that this has a carb EO number, which is awesome. Uh, I didn't mention it in the intro, but we've got a radiator um, coolant reservoir cover here, uh, which is a nice clean upgrade. And then we've got the Cobb factory location front mount intercooler. So this is a really nice, easy install. As you can see here, I've already got the TurboSmart bypass valve installed there, blow off valve installed there. So that's going to save us a step later on. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and pull out the stock intake. I've got the stock intake and the top of the airbox out here. Before I put the cob one in, there's a little screw down here that holds this scoop in that I am uh, I'm going to remove right now just because it's an easier reach. About a 50% chance I dropped this screw in to the engine bay when it falls out. So we've got the intake on, we've got the scoop upgrade on. Now we're just gonna finish off with the coolant reservoir cover. That's real simple. We're just gonna loosen these two bolts, slide it in, and tighten it down. All right, so now that we're done under the hood, we're going to uh, get the truck up on ramps and install that intercooler. All right, so we're gonna pull off the skid plate here and set that behind the truck. And then we're going to pull down the factory intercooler, get that set aside. We're gonna have to probably remove the shroud from the, um, the vent in here, just like we did with that 23 and then uh, we should be able to pop that straight back in. So I'm hoping if everything goes smoothly, this takes 20 minutes. 
special chrome plated impact sockets. <laughs> fan clip on my 23. We're gonna break it on the 24 too? Nope. Got it. I'm just gonna loosen these hose clamps. Because once I undo this bracket, the weight of that inner cooler is coming down. The upper hose clamp on the passenger side here is oriented such that it's like kind of impossible to fucking reach. All right, so being that this is a factory replacement intercooler, all we really have to do is move these silicone hoses over to these two, and then uh, this hose over to this side. We'll leave the bypass valve on the factory intercooler because we've got the Turbo Smart unit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll uh, check out the fan shroud situation. I think it's easier to have the fan on there. I think this interface is well. So we've got the intercooler mounted. Everything I believe is connected again. So I'm gonna throw the skid plate back on. We'll back it off the ramps and, uh, and we'll take it for a quick test drive make sure nothing's leaking or squealing or anything like that. the boost gauge there it's the factory boost gauge but it kind of gives us an idea if something's way wrong it doesn't doesn't sound or feel wrong it sounds good 17 or 18 psi i think is like probably right but it feels fine it was louder on the 24 actually i think Hey, 
Packers. All right, so that is it. Everything seems good. Um, it sounds cool. A lot of people will argue about fractions of a horsepower, and that's fine. It's not my thing. Uh, it's plenty fast for me, but it sounds cool. The Venta atmosphere of low off valve, I'm pretty sure nothing is gained by that. The factory valve is probably fine, but it sounds cool. It brings me back to being a kid in my, uh, in my Subarus, so. <laughs>is kind of fun exciting we got these back from powder this is the bedside rack for the passenger side of a 2024 f-150 there's that new cubby here so this part will accommodate that um, this is also the first panel that we've got here that has a new feature you guys are always installing tonneau covers and bed caps and we're telling you to either notch this out or push it around or make space or whatever so we are starting to design in these notches here uh, we're calling it accessory clamp space and then we're also going to ship with, this is a 3D printed prototype. These will be um, black ABS plastic, kind of a filler here in case you're not using that. Um, but so that's kind of a new feature. So I'm going to put a brand tag on here because it wouldn't be official without one. And then we will go test fit this on our 24 Raptor. panel here I've also got one of our upgraded box link plates here when you're doing this we mentioned this in the install guides I think but a little bit of anti-seize on the fasteners your future self will be very very happy about that decision just putting these in loosely and then we'll take it down once we've got everything started I'll fit in CAD, so it should all fit here. <laughs> That's the hope, right? All right, let's ship them. So that's a successful test fit. Um, if you got a 24 F-150 or Raptor with this cubby here, um, these panels are gonna be available very, very shortly, probably by the time you're watching this video. Um, if you want a full panel here, the previous model of the panel for like a 23 will work just fine, but I like to keep access to this panel, so that's the reason for this. Um, regarding the accessory clamp space here, we're going to begin integrating that to all of our panels, so it won't be too long. You'll be able to order a set that's got all of those um, cutouts in it. All right, so it's Friday afternoon. That's probably it for this week. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next week.